I'm Steve Cole from MyTech, and in this third module of Engineering Made Easy, I want to focus our attention on how we apply these loads at actual design stage. Now, to make it simple, I'm breaking it into two separate load conditions. One, the horizontal load, and two, the vertical load. Now, let's look at the horizontal loads for a start off. Obviously, we need to provide resistance horizontally to these loads to give us overall building stability. So if we look at wind load for an example, now we, as we said in module two, we would have already defined what our wind load is. Now that could either be a low wind, a medium, high, very high or extra high. Now these loads are then used to generate what we class as a bracing demand. Now for simplicity of design, the bracing demand is converted to what we call bracing units. Now these bracing units are typically resisted by braced panels. Now that could be in the form of a brace line panel, it could be a plywood panel, or in the cases of larger loads, we even actually use steel portals. Let's look at the vertical load condition there and the associated connections that go with that. Now I'm going to concentrate on wind load again because most of the connections are centered around a wind load condition. So let's step back for a minute and have a look at a helicopter view of the building we're dealing with. In the uplift condition, the first line of defence is obviously the roofing material. It has to be connected to the purlins sufficiently enough to withstand these uplift loads. Logic tells us that the purlins in turn must be connected sufficiently as well. At MyTech, we have provided very clear details on how to design and install the correct connections. Now the next level of resistance is the raft or truss cord, which the purlin is fixed to. Now here the loads are much larger and require significant connections. Again at MyTech, we provide comprehensive selections and installation options to cater for these fixings for various spans, spacings and loads, such as wire dogs, it could be CT200s, CPC40s or CPC80s. Now at this point, we're only connected to the top plate. The loading journey continues with a specific connection from the top plate to the studs. At MyTech, we provide again clear answers to these fixing requirements. For example, the Lumberlock stud strap. By the time this uplift load reaches the bottom plate, the assumption is the weight of the wall cladding, windows, doors, etc. will provide enough resistance to sufficiently connect the stud to the bottom plate. This bottom plate is then connected to the foundations through a variety of fixing options, and the total connection is now complete through to the ground. During each of these connection designs, we do our calculation again. We divide our actual load, which is the wind uplift, by the allowable load, which is the fixing capacity of any connections we're putting in there. And as long as we're below one, our fixing connections are fine. You may encounter at times questions or resistance for the need for so many fixing requirements. Well, by now, you'll have had some idea of the building regulations and the fact that we must comply with the building code. Now that's exactly what these fixing designs are doing. But what's of equal importance though, is the understanding from an engineering perspective. Now at MyTech, we believe the standards have actually got it pretty right. And if you consider it as an insurance against a major loading event, then it all starts to make sense. In the same way as you would insure your house or your car against fire or theft, this engineering provides a structural insurance against a major loading event such as an earthquake, snow or wind. So there's a brief snapshot of how we use those loads in parts of our building design. Now in summary, these three modules will have given you a clear understanding of some basic engineering principles, the loads and how we derive them, and how we actually use those loads during our design process. We believe this will give your confidence a kickstart for your respective job situations. So make sure you check out our What's All About series.